Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we have seen how we can uh, show all the product details to the admin with the help of this uh, matte um, Angular material uh, UI table. So uh, now uh, as we are able to see all the information onto a table, the next operations that we have to perform is basically edit and delete operations. So in front of every single row, we are going to add two different buttons. First one will be for edit and second one will be for a delete. Right now we are going to focus on the delete operation. And again for the delete we have two different things. First one is uh, for the backend and second one is for the uh, UI. So obviously we have to first of all focus on the backend. So in this session we are going to see how we can implement one API to delete any uh, product details. In the next session we will do the UI changes for the same. So without wasting much more time, let me just go back to the my IntelliJ and over here, let me just uh, go inside my SRC main, then Java, then com.youtube.ecommerce and then we have to go to the controller. Inside the product controller, we have to add the new uh, controller or maybe we can say that new API. So let me just use public and then let me just uh, give the name as let's suppose uh, as of now let me just keep it as void it void then let me just make it as delete product details like this and then let me just give a mapping so mapping will be a delete mapping and then we have to configure its path as well so let me just make it as a, a delete product details only like this and now this is going to take one path variable because uh, we have to pass a id as well so we have to give the variable so let me just use it as a product id like this and make sure you are not missing these curly brackets then we have to add a parameter to the method as well so let me just use the annotation as path variable and the product id will be of type integer and then let me just use it as a product product id like this and then for this path variable we have to give uh, the path variable name so my path variable name is a product id only so let me just paste it like this and now let me just save these i just want to make sure uh, what is the type over here i have used integer so let me just go to the product class so let me just go entity and then let me just go to the product and over here if you see yes product id is a uh, of type integer so yeah there is, should not be any issue and integer should work as expected now our controller is done then what we have to do is we have to go to the service so let me just go to the product service and then we have to add uh, one method in the service as well so let me just use it as a public as of now let me just keep it as a void and then let me just use delete product details it is going to take one parameter of type integer which will be a product id and again what we have to do is we have to just use product tao dot delete by id and then whatever product id we will receive we have to just use uh, that product id now this delete by uh, id going to return us nothing so that's the reason we can't uh, return anything with the help of this delete by id so i will just keep it as it is and for example if you just want to uh, return the deleted record so maybe you can just again uh, use a find by id uh, about that but as of now i don't uh, want this and uh, I just want to return nothing so that's why I will save it as it is now let me just go to the controller and let me just come back and over here let me just do one thing uh, let me just use product service dot delete product details and then we have to pass a product id like this and now let me just save this code and let me just restart my application and our api should work fine now but the only thing that i left back is disabling the security because as of now if you are aware that we are following the jwt token and role-based authentication mechanism 
and whenever we create any api we have to configure a security as well but as of now we haven't uh, like we are just implementing the functionality so that's the reason i don't want the uh, security to be enabled so let me just disable the security so let me just copy the api name and let me just go to the so let me just copy this entire api name and let me just go to the configuration and let, let me just go to the web configuration and over here we have one method that is a configure inside the configure method we have one array or maybe you can say that we have one a list of different apis so you can just add our new api into this uh, list so if you see like we are just permitting all the apis which are listed over here so it is basically means that we are disabling the security for it whenever we will implement the security we have to just remove this um, from this particular list so we have to remove the api from this particular list and now let me just save the code again and let me just restart the application and let's see what happens whether we are able to delete any product detail or not so let me just do one thing yes my application is started so let me just copy this api name and let me just go to the postman before postman let me just go to the mysql and let's see whether which uh, id we we have into our database so let me just use select star from product so yeah we have the product id 1 and 3 so let's try to delete this first product id let me just go to the postman and let me just use http colon uh, http colon slash slash localhost colon 9090 slash we have to use delete so let me just copy it again let me just paste it in the postman and then we have to give a slash and then we have to give up the id that we want to delete so i just want to delete the id first so let me just give it as a one over here i just used a double slash so let me just remove the one because we because we require only one slash over here mapping is a delete mapping so let me just use it as a delete mapping and let me just send it and let's see what happens so yes we got this status as 200 okay and there is nothing uh, inside a response because we haven't returned anything but yes our product should be deleted let me just go to the my sql let me just refresh this and yes if you see like product is deleted and we have now only uh, product in our table which is having the id 3 so yes it is working as expected so let's try it for the product details 3 as well let's see what happens so let me just make it as a send and again let me just come back and let me just use the select star from and yes now we don't have any product inside our database so yeah our diligence were also working as expected and as of now if you see we are deleting the uh, records permanently from the database so there is no any kind of uh, soft delete and hard delete we are maintaining in our database if you want you can just maintain it or if you want me to show how we can uh, use a soft delete then let me know into a comment section and i will create some other session or maybe other video but as of now our delete operation is getting performed successfully so this is how we can perform a delete operation with the help of a crud repository and uh, we are done with the api in the next session we will see how we can add a button on the ui so that whenever we will click on the button uh, the record should be deleted so as of now it should not have any record so yes we don't have any record as of now because every single record is deleted but we are going to um, implement all the ui changes in the next session so uh, so i hope you got an idea like how we can create an api to delete the uh, product from the database if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case and i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session